Grandma is probably not a witch. By A. S. Curitan. <laughs> This is me and my grandma. She's not a witch. At least I definitely think she's probably not one. Although I suppose she does look a little bit like a witch. <laughs> And her house looks slightly witchy. And for some reason, is bigger inside than out. Her garden is a bit like the sort of garden you would expect a witch to have, but that doesn't prove anything. She does have a black cat. That can talk, but my friend's grandma has a parrot that can also talk, and no one calls her a witch. Grandma cooks me very strange food, which she serves out of a cauldron, and the food quite often has unwanted side effects. It is true that she turned that man into a frog, but Grandma says he deserved it. Grandma's friends are not the sort of people you'd expect a grandma to have, but just because they're weird doesn't mean that she's a witch, does it? I think lots of grandmas probably have magic mirrors that lie to them about how pretty they are. So I shouldn't read anything into it. Grandma sometimes picks me up from school on her broomstick. She doesn't seem to get on very well with her neighbors, but Grandma says that's their problem. Would a grandma who happened to be a witch take me to such brilliant parties? Anyway, Grandma says that everyone better stop calling her a witch, unless they want to end up tiny, slimy, green, and living in a jar. <laughs> The end. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe and come back again.